So far in this lecture, we've been paying attention to the ways that we can analyze film as a whole, but we can also break a film down to its constituent parts. We can pay attention to an image by pausing a, a particular frame and, and paying attention to what a director has provided. We can listen to the sound, noise, and dialogue, and analyze the way emotions can be created through the use of sound. And next, we're going to pay attention to the use of writing. Writing is an important way in film to make connections between past and present. For example, if you watch the film Captain America, you can pay attention to the writing, which reveals to us that the film, at least the initial portions of the film, are set in the 1940s, because the font and the style of writing is different than what we're accustomed to and used to today in, in uh, 2013. Uh, connections between a space can also be uh, revealed through the use of writing. For example, if someone writes a letter or, or sends a text, it can show a different spatial relationship as the writing travels from, from one person to another. The writing in each scene conveys meaning. Pay attention to the posters in the background of a particular scene. Um, titles, pay attention to the font used uh, to uh, present the title of a film that we're watching. The use of newspapers or computer screens text messages, whatever it is, pay attention to the way that the font, uh, the letters, uh, create a particular atmosphere and convey meaning. In the next film clip we're going to watch, we're going to see the use of graffiti in very interesting ways. The film is entitled Sin Nombre, it came out in 2009. And in the film clip we're about to see, which takes place in Central America, an older gang member is initiating a younger gang member uh, into a gang. And as they move, as, as, as actually the camera moves us through the scene, we can see the use of writing everywhere. And the use of writing is a way for us actually to understand this new space. There's graffiti on the wall and we're going to see these characters as they move through the dwelling place uh, of gang members and ultimately when they finally meet the leader of the gang we, we find that his face and entire body is heavily tattooed. Um, I've included images on our E-class site that show the use of tattoos throughout the, uh, throughout the members of this gang. Um, but pay attention particularly to this clip and, and the use of graffiti and how this it brings us into a space that for, uh, you know, certainly for its audience members, they're not familiar with this type of space. But the use of writing uh, reveals to us that we've entered into a new location and into a new experience.